Hello everyone. I'm Okay, so one more time. I am Erica of the storytellingjubeler.com. You are watching No One Has to Be the Lone, and I really hope that you can see me and hear me. Just something strange happened with my connection. So I hope it's all right. I see you already, Petra and Honey and Teresa and Sarah and Gunnel and Viveka and Kata. Yeah, Kata says I disappeared for a little bit. Indeed, the screen just went black. I don't know what happened. Sharia, Maria, Mehtab, Anna. Hello, everyone. Frida, Eleanor, Elena. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. So some background info. This was supposed to be, you know, the day when everything is ready in time. <laughs> Uh, as I finished drawing the tutorial at around two o'clock instead of four thirty, and even Zuzi had time to check it, I uploaded it, and then I decided that I will have a quick nap. The quick nap ended two hours later, <laughs> and again. I ended up being ready last minute. I still need to drink my coffee to like get up. So I apologize. I'm still like kind of like in getting up mode. So yeah. Hello, Sharon and Cheryl and Lutka and Deb, Corinne, Donna, Anneline, Lynn, Nicoline, Vita. Yeah, Lynn says, good morning, secret Santas. Indeed, our big secret Santa adventure, the third time uh, when we are doing this, has started this week and everyone got their names on Monday. So, and actually one of the packages was already delivered by uh, from a very, very responsible Santa called Corinne. <laughs> And now the happy beater who was on the receiving end, she needs to wait until the 24th of December until she can open it. It has become a tradition that we play Secret Santa in the storytelling beading club, as this is the third year already. Pollock is here also and live. Hello. Nice to see you. Aniko, I'm really glad to see you ladies. I hope you have had a nice week and you are prepared for to bid with me. And Mariela is here also. So today we are going to work on the Peregrina earrings and one thing that I managed to do before before starting the broadcast, besides putting on a bra, is, <laughs> is uh, find the same colors that I used for the original. So I'm really happy because that means that I can actually beat the matching pair. And for a difference, I will actually ha have a full pair of earrings instead of like different colors <laughs> and ending up only with brooches and pendants. I'm an earring girl. First of all, big earring girl. <laughs> and Martina joined us also. And Lorraine and Kay. So, oh wow, 60 people. That's really nice. Thank you so much for joining me. So the motive it's actually pretty versatile and a pretty quick one. So you can bead it as earrings as I am doing it. You can make a necklace with or without a drop. You can, by the way, also add a tassel at the bottom. It doesn't have to be a drop or you can even leave it without anything hanging at the bottom. Uh, you can also, of course, fix it on a filigree. 
and I have just tried one, which I don't know where did I put. So yeah, I actually actually tried it on top of the same filigree as I used for Estrella, the workshop that you can still sign up for, as we have still very few places actually for the second December and the late January team. So I tried it on the same filigree as Estrella and it looks cool. It would be really nice as a pendant. There is a lot more visible from the filigree and uh, as in the case of Estrella. And I really love this one. So yeah, I really encourage you to try it. By the way, the motif for me, it's pretty sturdy. So I don't need a filigree to make it uh, stronger. And also it came out for me uh, totally flat. So I hope that it will work for you too. I used drug beads, by the way, not pearls. So that can also make a difference. And yeah, I'm curious to see, uh, to learn that what are you going to make from it if you have had already some ideas. And in the meanwhile, I am going to make a quick material check so we can all check that if we have all the components to make it. Oh, Cheryl says, I have told my family I need workshop money for seasonal gifts. <laughs> By the way, that's so nice, Cheryl. Would be wonderful if you could join me again. By the way, we are also... Uh, planning to planning to uh, start having uh, gift cards. So if your family would like to give you the gift of participating in a workshop or getting new inspiring beading material, then next week I will upload the gift cards. So yeah, then they can like print it nicely for you and you can have a special gift for the holidays this year. And Deb is asking, what is the difference between drug and two millimeter? Well, two millimeter is a size, but I think you mean pearls and drug beads, right? So drug beads are pressed beads and pearls are the one coated with a special layer. So they are like, the pearls are fake pearls with the pearly, pearly layer uh, on the outside and the drug beads, they are just simple pressed beads without like the pearly layer. So they tend to be a tiny, tiny, tiny bit smaller than the pearls but it also depends on the manufacturer. I get my purse and the drug beads from the same place and the uh, drugs are a tiny bit, uh, at least the ones I'm using and the drugs are a tiny bit smaller actually. So let's see how will they be behave. And Ula says, I will decide when I see how it looks. And Cheryl will do the same way. And Deb, I hope I answered your question. So when it's just pressed bead, then it's drug. And when it has the coating, then it's a pearl. <laughs> and Zuzi is here with us also. I'm really happy to see you. And Monica, hello, Monica. So let's do the material check. So. We will need, of course, as always, the 0 0.12 millimeter or 4 LB fire line, then a thin uh, beading needle, earring hooks in case you are making earrings. You will need, by the way, the material that uh, the numbers that I wrote in the on the picture, they are for one motif. So if you are making a full pair of earrings, or if you make a bracelet, because that's also possible, you can make a bracelet out of like maybe five, six, seven motifs, then you need to multiply the amounts. So for one motif, you need uh, eight pieces of two millimeter drug beads. You will need Miyuki Delica beads, size 11, 
I used two colors, but of course it's up to you that if you want to use one color, two colors, three colors, so everything is possible. If you want to emphasize the little cross in the middle, then I think that would also be a good idea to, you, uh, to use two different colors for the, uh, for the center of the motif. Then you will need three millimeter fire polished beads. Those are the drug, 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 dark bronze ones on my original. And you also need four millimeter fire polished beads. Those are the pretty, pretty opal purple ones. You need also half tila beads and optionally you can, uh, you can attach a drop at the bottom. It doesn't make uh, so. So I uh, I wrote there. I am using an eight times thirty two millimeter drop in a in a metal setting. However, it can be smaller. It can be bigger. There doesn't have to be a drop. There can be a tassel. So it's up to you completely. And. Oh, ladies, Deb and Sarah say. They will not beat today. I hope you will change your mind afterward and, and will beat this motive afterward. I would love to see it in your version. But thank you so much for joining anyway. <laughs> and Susie says, Anna heard you talking. Anna is Susie's uh, two-year-old daughter. And she came immediately saying, Erika, so we bought you are very popular. <laughs> Hugs to little Anna. Zuzi is also just watching. So ladies, thank you so much for being here. If you bid or not bid or bid something else, that doesn't matter. The most important is that we are here together and we spend time together. So I'm wishing you a wonderful time and let's get started. So, switching to the Okay, no, I still have to get up, I think. Switching to the bead mat camera and also the illustrations. So we start, uh, we start by picking up Hello, Asaria. We start by picking up four pieces of Delica beads. By the way, the printable file is, of course, I forgot to mention it. The printable file is online at the usual place. Storytellingjuveler.com slash no one has to be the long slash. And uh, you have always two options. You can either purchase the pattern for five euros, and if the current pandemics have an unfortunate uh, effect on your financial situation, then you can always have it for free. Please accept it as my helping hand. And if you decide to go for the five euro version, then uh, that really helps in keeping the broadcasts coming week by week. And if you decide to share it, invite some more beading friends, or maybe place an order afterward, then I am very, very, very grateful for you. So let's start by picking up four pieces of Miyuki Delica beads. And I beaded through all the beads one more time to join them in, uh, into a little circle. And then I bead a third time through the very first bead. And this way I don't have to tie a knot, but still it's sturdy. And I have this little square now. And step two. Easy, easy, we fill up Miyuki Delica beads one by one 
between the delica beads from the first step. By the way, if you have any questions, then feel free to stop me anytime and I am happy to explain it again. I am filling in my delica beads. Okay, I have to adjust the camera even. I think I put it, put it too close and then it can't focus anymore. <laughs> So this is what I have for now. Four plus four Delica beads in the same color. In step three, I fill in half Tila beads. That's the, I forgot to put here half Tila beads. I hope I can find them. <laughs> I apologize. Oh yeah. Okay. They were just nearby, fortunately. I even did the material check, but it really seems that that nap just ruined me, ruined my ability to focus. So in step three, I pick up half tila beads and fill them in, in between the delicas added in step number two. I try to pull my thread tight so the half tilas sit securely in between the delicas. But what you can also do if you don't feel like you have enough tension is that you just bead all around two times instead of one. You want to finish in for example, the second half tila bead that you add in added in this step, and you don't want to start adding new beads right away between after the first one, as in that case, there would be a higher risk that the motif gets deformed. By the way, I know that I, I uh, promised you to come with a pendant for the Catalan said that we were beading before the October seed beads and more month. And I am still coming with it. But my brain just needed something fresh. <laughs> last weekend when I was designing, so I decided to postpone it a little bit. I hope you don't mind. So this is what I have by now. It's really like a little cross at this moment with eight delicate bit in the middle and then four half tila beads in between. And now, step number four, the way you will see like, this is such a quick motive that I really hope that you will be motivated some of you to bead, to be the full bracelet or a full set. I was amazed to see your enthusiasm with the seed beads and more themes that many of you uh, many of you beaded like 
all 12 motif, uh, 12 designs I, I made for you, or nearly all 12, and that felt so, so, so nice. Thank you so much, ladies. And Elena likes the motif. She says, it is just these earrings asking you to put them in life. They are beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Elena. I hope you are doing okay, by the way. And in step four, we will be adding pairs of two millimeter drug beads between the inside holes of the half tila beads. So we are still working with the inside holes. We are not switching to the outside holes yet. Exiting an inside hole, pick up two drug beads. I arrange them to look nice. And then I go through the inside hole of the next half tila bead. And again and again, I encourage you that after you add the last new bead or the last new group of bead, then please continue until you reach at least the second new bead or second new group, depending on what you are beading. Because then the chance that you deform the motif becomes a lot less. Oh, Cheryl has an idea. Cheryl says, I tried a few pearls as I have no drugs, but I didn't like it. So I have tried Trutus and it's looking great. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I know that probably many beaders, they got Trutus during the past months because we were using them in the seed beads and more designs. They're all crow pro designs. So thank you so much, Cheryl. It's another way of using them. And Sherry says it was a really fun month. Hello, Sherry. And hello, Reinhilde. <laughs> so in the fourth step, I want to finish after exiting the first drug bead from a pair. So I bead it all the way to the second pair that I added, second new pair, but I stopped between the two drug beads. And Kata says, number eight seed beads might also work instead of drugs. Thank you so much, Kata. And fifth step already. You see how fast we are today? <laughs> you are probably even faster than me. <sighs> so now, I am repeating the, uh, the thread path of the previous, previous step. And what I am doing is that I fill in Delica beads. Still, I'm working with the first color. The Delica beads between the drug beads. So I'm exiting the first drug from a pair. I pick up a Delica and then I bead through the second truck from the same pair, the inside hole of the half tila and the first drug bead from the second pair of drug beads, from the next pair of drug beads. And this is how I bead all around my little motif. And I see that 
Kata's suggestion already helped Joanna, who is saying, Katalin Dudesh, thank you for that suggestion. I have a lot of number eight beads. And Reinhild uh, is celebrating tomorrow, the birthday of her twin sons. Wow, congratulations. How old are they? And step number five is finished when you are exiting one of the new Delica beads that you added. And how are you doing, ladies, so far? I know that all of you are seasoned beaders, the names I see here, but I would love to know if this is going well, if you could download the tutorial, if everything is all right. In steps, uh, step six, we switch to the outside holes of the half tila beads. So we are exiting a Miyuki Delica between the drugs. Then I pick up three pieces of the number 15 seed beads, and then I bead through the outside hole of the next half tila bead. Afterward, I pick up three number 15s again. It's always groups of three in this step. And I am connecting the outside holes of the half tilas with the delicas added in the last step, in the previous step. And Macduff said, says so far so good. Oops, for Eleanor, a drug beat broke, so she has to go back a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a nuisance. Cheryl says, oh, good here. And Elena says, I am really enjoying it. It is going very smoothly. <laughs> I'm happy to hear. And if someone has a technical question, then just let me know, or if you want me to show it another time, whatever, then I'm all yours. And Patricia is here. Hello, Patricia. She says, just joining and watching this, uh, no half till up beads this, uh, this time. I hope you can get them so you can beat it, Patricia. It is a really fun, quick design. And also, it loses very little, actually, very little half tila beads, only 12 pieces in one motif. So it is a good investment to get a package maybe to try them because you can make many, many, many motifs with it. Also, if someone has leftover half tila beads, then this is a good place to use them up. Also for leftover three millimeter fire polished or four millimeters fire polished, then it's also a good place. And Elena and Kata saying, if you don't have half tilas, maybe you have quarter tilas. If you put two together, it will also work. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for the ideas, Elena and Katalin. And Kata says, loving my colors, doing well. What are you working with, Kata? Okay. Stop, you know, don't tell us what are you working with and let us guess that what kind of colors Kata is using. So other readers, please type in, what do you think? What kind of colors does Kata, does Kata use? And then we will sh check if we were, if you were all uh, right, okay? Let's play a game.
And Lutka is here. She says, hello, ladies and Erika. I go late and just watch and listen. Domestic duties were necessary. Good to see you, Lutka. I hope you are doing well. And Katrin is asking, what is left over? <laughs> and Helena is, is here. And, okay, Cheryl thinks that Kata is using mustard yellow. Eleanor thinks that she's using orange. Annalyn thinks that she's using yellow. Elena, Elena's guess is bright blue and orange, maybe. Petra says yellow. Anne says turquoise. Ula says more orange. <laughs> Martina says yellow. And Helena says, I think she has red, green, yellow, and white. <laughs> and Helen says, and something weird. <laughs> Honey says black. Okay, is there anyone else who would like to guess? If not, then <laughs> Kata. Sherry says also mustard. Everything okay with Lutka? <laughs> I bet Bratislava and your area where you live is beautiful these days in the autumn, Lutka. I used to walk around a lot there. Jana says Kata will pick autumn colors. Gisela says Gisela says I think Lila. Dev thinks of turquoise. Anita is thinking about orange, yellow, and green. Okay, so Kata, tell us, what are you working with today? I am also guessing, by the way, you, you, have, you probably have either yellow or orange. I'm pretty sure. Nicolene says pink, purple, and black. By the way, if someone is still beating, <laughs> then continue, please, until you beat through a half tila and the and the three number 15 seed beats. So you need to stop before you would cross through a Miyuki Delica. I'm really curious, Kata. I think orange or yellow and purple, pink, definitely something, something autumn uh, and 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 purple. Lutka says I think Kata uses black, orange, and red. Kata, where are you? I hope her internet did not drop or something because like. 68, 69 beaters will die of curiosity here. <laughs> Finally. So we have got an answer. Okay. So it's magic apple, hazelnut, beige. You surprised me, me with beige. <laughs> pale rose and pale gold. Okay. So rose and gold, that I would have thought. But the beige, you pretty much surprised me. <laughs> the magic apple has have to has to be beautiful. <laughs> and Annalyn says, so nobody guessed it. Exactly. But you know, Kata, it's so nice that everyone everyone knew your colors, like your usual ones, that you have such a signature style. Even if sometimes you are experimenting and doing something else, that you have such a signature style that everyone, everyone is like pairing your style with some very, very specific colors. <laughs> and Kata says, I surprised myself, but it will be autumn. I'm really curious. <laughs> So, now I am, okay, I am actually beading through the Delica bead. And then I pick up two new Delica beads and I bead through the Delica bead one more time. 
so I will get a little triangle. And then I continue all the way until I reach the next Delica. I will bring my lamp closer because I think my beadmat is not showing so well. You can see now on my like microphone, webcam, all the lamps around me. <laughs> And Lynn says, it's funny how we change our colors that, uh, to what we uh, feel for each season. Indeed, Lynn, indeed. Does anybody else feel affected by the change of the seasons by, seasons, by the way? For me, it's a first. Like, I never liked autumn colors, but this year I am seriously getting into the mood of autumn colors. I'm not outside that much as I used to in the nature. This autumn is really like not a nice one so far. Yesterday and today we had some nice days. Oh, also already on Wednesday, we actually went out biking a little bit, but there is a lot of rain and the sky is usually gray. So I am not that much outside. I try to go for a walk at least every other day <laughs> or every day if I manage to enjoy the beautiful trees with the changing leaves but yeah it could be better So I am adding now the last pair of Delica beads. And I am switching to the next step. And this is when I'm going to add more half Tila beads. So after adding the last pair of Delicas, I bead through three uh, the next group of three number 15s i pick up two half tila beads and then i bead backwards through the next half tila bead bead that is already attached i arrange the half tilas into this kind of triangle and then i bead through the new ones a second time I bead through the next group of three number 15s and also through the first Miyuki Delica from a pair that was added in the previous step. I pick up a Miyuki Delica and I continue through the second Delica from the pair and also through three number 15 seed beads. And again, I am going to add the pair of half tilas and then continue all around. And Elena says, this autumn is really special. And indeed, especially this year, I am seriously affected by bright color and red colors of autumn. Vita says, no, I think I'm very predictable and mostly stubborn when it comes to colors. Or maybe I just like too much to stay in my comfort zone. <laughs> you are not stubborn with your colors. I saw you using red last week. <laughs> So that's a huge step. <laughs> I'm so happy that Vita is here with us, by the way. Again, again. Do you know her Etsy store, by the way? She is a fellow, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know. She is a fellow designer. 
and one of my best BD friends, and she's living in Budapest, while I used to live in Bratislava. So we lived nearby, and she was my idol when I started to bead. She was, I was like, ah, the fan girl. And yeah, there were there was this this cute little bead shop in Budapest where Vitsa used to teach. And we used to meet there also for like birthday parties of the shop and so on, and beat together, of course. And on one occasion, I remember that uh she needed an extra bead and i just had the color and the shape what she what she needed and i i i, I gave it to her and then i was like all the time like oh vita dobos has a bead from me vita dobos has a bead from me in her beautiful juva <laughs> so like true fangirling style so if you don't know her her uh her Etsy shop yet, then please visit Vita. Like, I uh, can you please uh, post the link of your Etsy shop in a comment? So, so others can see it. And Lutka says, yes, she is wonderful. Lutka, do I remember well that you actually participated in a workshop that we organized, that Vitsa came to us to Bratislava? And Kata says, Vitsa is a big idol for many of us. When I went first time to Hamburg to exhibit at the big beat show then yeah that was also a very nice time spending time together with Vita and Miriam Shimon the two of the ladies had her tables next to each other and then I was helping and, and it was really a nice it's a really nice memory still and Lutka was indeed in the workshop with Vitsa. I still have the pictures, by the way. <laughs> Vitsa, are you here? We need your... We need your... Uh... We need your your Etsy link. <laughs> and it also remembers Lutka. <laughs> Oops, and Lutka just confessed. It was just so you know, some six years ago, and Lutka uh, uh, just confessed that she still had some UFOs from that workshop. Sarah, I hope you covered your ears. <laughs> Vita taught some amazing designs. I still remember your beaded bead with bugle beads and with donuts crystal donuts i really loved that one i'm adding the last pair of my half tilas and ladies please let me know how is it going that if this step was okay Vita, can you please type in your address or the name of your Etsy shop. <laughs> I scared Sarah, I'm so sorry. Lutka, you have to finish the UFOs, so Sarah, Sarah will sleep well. <laughs> Jones, hello, she says, having trouble getting Tilas to lay correctly this time. So it's good that you are saying 
I am at the last pair. So what I did was, did you get the strat pass by the way? Is it is it there is there a problem only with the how they how they lay or also with the strat pass? Okay, and finally, Vita found it. Etsy.com slash shop slash diva design. Thank you so much, Vita. I will leave it on the screen for a while so everyone who wants can type it in. So after exiting a group of three number 15 seed beads, I picked up two half tilas and then I beaded backwards through the half tila that is already attached. And when I pull my thread, then yeah, it's a little bit tricky. What you need to do that you pull tight and then they automatically lay nice. I oops, I also went through number 15. So this will not work if you are using a thread like Nemo or Wanji. You need to have it sturdy. So you need Fireline, for example. And then you just need to pull on it and help with your fingers a little bit to arrange them into this, this triangle. I really like to put down my beading when I have trouble with arranging my beads or if they if it doesn't seem to be flat, then what I like to do is that I put it down on my beading mat and I just arrange it. I, I like to tap on my beads gently if needed. I pull on my thread. So I hope it helps. Rutka says, I will finish it. I have a bit of problem with my hands, but I am exercising, so I hope that it will get better. Rutka, no pressure, okay? I was just joking, and I really hope that you will get back, get, get well soon. Thinking of you a lot. So how are you ladies doing? This was a tricky step. So I would really like to know if you are doing okay before I go further. If someone would like to have more explanation or would like to see it one more time, then please let me know. I am still at the point that I can take apart this last step easily and show it to you one more time. Also, I will use this occasion to drink some coffee to drink some water. By the way, I also made myself a tea sometime in the afternoon and then I completely forgot about it. So I have a complete selection of drinks here. And indeed, Joanna says, and if tapping doesn't work, try sitting on it. <laughs> indeed and if it's still not good you have to eat more chocolate and you can use the chocolate paper for backing up your embroidery <laughs> so it says i messed up step eight and that's when i undid it i accidentally flung my piece across the room i'm so busy laughing i can't read <laughs> And Bernadette says, I love the earrings you are wearing, Erica. Thank you, Bernadette. They are made by my friend, Suzy. And actually, she made a tutorial for a similar pair, not with the Shibori, but with Ultra Sweet that you can find on the blog. So if you navigate to the Storytelling Jeweler, uh, dot com and you go to the blog then you will find this last article the colorful raindrops on your ears so Zuzi then explains how to make it and just today yesterday we had a great brainstorming session with the ladies in the storytelling beading club uh, and thank you so much you are awesome of suggesting so many different shapes because the way how Zuzi is beading these earrings, it can be like 
lots of different shapes. It doesn't have to be just a teardrop or a raindrop. It can be many different shapes. So the members of the club, Anneli, Serio, Kata, Sarah, many of you, you were, you were uh, suggesting different shapes for the earrings. And I just put together a sheet of the shapes in different sizes. So also, if you navigate to that article on the blog, then you can download the PDF. And then if you if you print it on thicker paper, then you can use the shapes as patterns for your for your jewels, just put them on your ultra speed and draw the outlines. I like to use a gel pen for that in gray or or gold so like it blends in kind of but i can still see it so yeah you can do it in many different shapes squirrels for cheryl flowers for aniline and unicorns then sarah asked for cats ula asked for lotus flowers Connie asked for french lily so you can find everything in the file in different shapes so you can also also use them as pendants for example or as part of a bigger piece of embroidery and as we were brainstorming together i really love how crazy some of you went as then we had the idea from kata to have a moose and from marianske to have a cow and i am doing my best to make your wishes come true so you will also find those in the files cat face for sarah butterfly for amy oh and these are my favorite actually kata had the idea for like oriental shapes and these windows and doors and i really really love them i will actually try to beat one pair for me or at least the or at least a pendant. And Lisa is a first time reader with us. Hello, Lisa. So nice that you joined us. Welcome. So, yeah, I hope you will like it. And if you have any questions, then let us know. Let me know. <laughs> Cheryl is still very happy about the squirrels. And Elena says, cold tea and cold coffee, the motto of the day. <laughs> Indeed. <sighs> so I hope you are really doing well with this step number eight. I didn't see a question, so I am going to put step number nine on screen. This is a good step. I always have like favorite steps in a design when it's like a nice progress or that like the finishing touch or the colors start to look really good. Okay, I still need to add the last Delica bead. By the way, uh, Lisa, did you find the printable file? Because we always have a printable file to go with the to go with the broadcast. So you don't have to like keep an eye always on the screen. If you are slower or if you are faster than me, then you can also just download the printable and print it out or open it on another screen and just listen to listen to me talking and enjoy like watching the comments and participating in the in the conversation because this is this is like really it's Okay, we all love to bead, but this is more than beading. This is also about, this is mo most importantly about getting together and being together, even if everyone is scattered around the world. Liana says, hello Liana, that she couldn't find it. 
So I am posting the link where you need to navigate. It's always the same. So it's the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be alone slash. And I am starting now step nine. So first I need it to bead to a Delica bead that I added during the previous step. And now I'm going to add my fire polished beads. This milky opal purple is one of my late favorites. I hope you like it too. I also have like a green opal and blue opal, the blue opal. Honey, the blue opal is being restocked these days. So yeah, there is an opal uh, uh, line of fire polished beads. And I really, really like them, purple and pink and green and blue. Uh, I am adding three millimeter fire polished beads between the Delica and the half tila, and then between the two open holes of the two half tilas, I am adding a pair of four millimeter fire polished beads. Make sure, please, that when you pull your thread, then you don't that you that you already like arrange the beads in a nice way because otherwise you would pull the thread on the side of the hole and that could damage the thread so it's something to keep an eye on honey is happy and elena is also happy i i love the opals and they go so well also with the Opal Rivalis and uh, the big 27 stones that we have. So I think it's a perfect match. So again, I'm adding a three millimeter fire polished going through a Delica and then I'm pick up another three millimeter fire polished and going through the outside hole of a half tila bead. And then I pick up two four millimeter fire polished and I bead through the outside hole, the open hole of the next half tila, the second in the pair. Ula thinks that she will have to sit on sit on hers. Wait until the end, okay? Like try to try to put it down always and tap on it. But yeah, wait until the end because mm, uh, yeah, it should be. I hope it will be okay. <laughs> Corina also loves Opal. <laughs> so we have an Opal club and a turquoise club already, right? <laughs> and Ula, where are you by the way exactly? In which step when it's still turning for you? and being gravy. Just finished, we'll finish step nine. Okay, that point, it should be, it should be straight. Are you using uh, purse or drug beads in the middle? Because that can make, or what kind of beads are in the middle? instead of the D2, because that can make a little difference. Maybe you will need to adjust, if you are using something else than two millimeter drug beads, then maybe you need to adjust the number of the uh, number 15 seed beads around them. Always like put it down, tap, and when it's not straight, then try to adjust. Pearls, okay. They can be a bit 
bigger and I actually had trouble last week when we were beating Zenobia that my Zenobia came out so ugly because the pearls were too big. I used in the original drug beads and then I switched for pearls in the second version and the design did not work with pearls. So in this case you might need to adjust the number of number 15 seed beads around the drugs and then the rest because they might push aside push uh, push out the half tila beads already actually a little bit if they are bigger If you don't have drugs, then I would, I would, or Ula says that maybe the three millimeter fire polish have a thick coating. Was it okay up until that point? Try to, let's try to identify that. When did it start to, okay, it's flat. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad. Then I'm hiding step eight and I'm putting step 10 on the screen. So what I'm doing now that I retrace the thread path of the previous step and I am adding Miyuki Delica beads between the two four millimeter fire polished beads on the corners. And the rest is just going through the beads on the edge. And Lisa found the link. Great, great. Let me know if I can be of any more help, Lisa. <laughs> and Magdaf says, I'm using two millimeter fire polished, working okay. Thank you so much for testing it, Nectab. And letting us know that how, how is it going. So I am adding the last Miyuki Delica bead in between the four millimeter fire polished beads. This is how it looks like at the moment. So the square is nicely shaping. And in step 11, I will start using the second color of Delica beads. And in my case, it's nearly the same actually as the first color, but it's not, by the first color is this like matte avocado. Then the second color is like also avocado, but with a Picasso finishing. And I need to be exiting a three millimeter fire polished bead for this. And then I pick up six pieces of the Delica beads. And then I bead through the Delica on the corner in between the fire polished beads. Then I pick up six Delica beads again and I bead through three millimeter fire polished Delica and another three millimeter fire polished. Then 
so this is how it looks like and this is how what i need to do all around always picking up six pieces of delica beads and connecting the three millimeter fire polished with the delica Two corners are finished already. Where are you ladies, by the way, in the pattern? It's so funny because usually most of you finish beading before I would get there. Of course, as I am like talking and trying to also manage the illustrations on the screen. So usually, usually the participants, the ladies finish the motif a lot sooner than me. But it's so nice of you that you are keeping me company while I am being slow and finishing still. So I just added the last group of the six Delica beads. Just want to make sure I counted it right. And at this point, please make sure that you don't, don't pull your thread too much, but try to pull it just as needed. That really like put it down, put the motif down on your bead mat and pull as much so it is still flat okay and then we are going to go all around the motif one two more times so it actually helps to keep it sturdy and you don't have to like over pull <laughs> and vita has a serious drop dilemma that's always a very important question right but you also like drops very much right I'm lately pretty obsessed with drops, as you might have noticed. <laughs> and I'm hiding now number 10. And this is the last step that I prepared for the broadcast. And in case that you would like to attach the drop, then you can see how I have done it if you downloaded the tutorial. So I beaded through a three millimeter fire polished and then six Delica beads. And now I pick up two Delica beads from my first color. I bead backwards through the Delica between the two four millimeter fire polished. I bead one more time through the first one. I pull it tight. I pick up a new Delica. I bead through the second new Delica and then I continue into the group of six. So the result is this pointy part on top of the Delica between the two four millimeter fire polished beads. And Teresa says, oh my, you are still on. I had to leave to run an errand. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and we are still here. <laughs> nice to have you back, Teresa. So actually when you are making this like pointy kind of shape from seed beads or uh, like round seed beads or delica beads then you can bead it with different thread passes so i actually decided to include two different thread passes for the same shape 
in this motif because we did it in a little bit different way here when we did it for the first time and in a different way here when we did it for a second time so you can actually decide if you want to do it always the same way or you like to mix it up and yeah i just <laughs> i just mixed it up for you so you have like <laughs> more new things or maybe like probably you already knew how to do this but i wanted to include two different ways for those who might have not known how to beat this kind of little shape and thank you so much Cheryl hello Cheryl welcome and thank you so much Cheryl for posting the link that really helps Vita, what kind of drops do you have? And Nicolene says, Erika, when I use six telecast and the thread shows, I rather put seven. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it can be different for you. If, for example, as Ula said that, for example, she had a, she probably has a thick coating on the fire polished beads. So, yeah, go with your gut feeling. Try it. Try six. Try seven. And maybe even like if if the seven are too many, then you can also try six delica beads plus a number 15 seed beads, either at the end or at the beginning. So your thread doesn't show. And nice to see you, Nicolene. I'm really glad, by the way, that the second camera is still working because just before the broadcast, Adam finished a conference call with his colleagues and he told me like, okay, there might be a problem because it was all the time like dropping out for him and the screen just disappeared. But hopefully it seems that it's okay. I was worried. So I am adding actually my last group of three new Delica beads. First, I add two. I bead backwards through the Delica between the two, two four millimeter fire polished beads. I bead through the first new Delica. I pick up another one. I bead through the second new Delica and then I continue to the group of six. So this is how it looks like for me. And I just finished my sec my, my motif and I will, I will make it into the other half of the earring. But as you can see, it would be pretty easy to connect them into a bracelet. So ladies, please let me know if you have uh, some questions if you would like to ask some advice about colors whatever and yeah or if 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 there is a question about some of the thread passes etc So while I am waiting to see if you still have questions, then I would like to just mention one more time that I have a few, and I want to emphasize a few <laughs> places still left for the Estrella workshop. And I would like to thanks, th say a big thank you and send a big virtual hug to everyone who decided to sign up. I really, really, appreciated that you decided to spend time with me again and i am really looking forward also to the adelaida class 
coming up next Saturday and very much to the three Estrella classes that we have just scheduled. Last week, I also showed you the working progress Jenny's J pendants inspired by the hippie hero. And I still have a couple of the kits in pre-order and also the tutorial is available to pre-order. And in a couple of days next week, when I finish the tutorial and my helpers, Yvette and Monica, finish assembling the kit, then the prices will go up a little bit. So if you like what you see, then it might be nice to make a decision now. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking if, uh, if you have questions. So Ludka is happy. She says they are beautiful. Macked up, thank you so much. Lisa's drugs are three millimeter. Joanna, Cheryl. I hope you can find two millimeter drugs, by the way, Lisa. Malka, Connie, Elena. Thank you so much, ladies. And let's share pictures in the storytelling beading club. That how is it going? I am really curious to see your color combinations and your work in progress projects, your finished pieces. So there is always an after party in the storytelling beading club. And I am really looking forward to see your colors. Thank you so much for your attention, ladies. Thank you so much for every share and like and recommendation. I really really and order <laughs> thank you so much i really appreciate your support have a nice weekend take care stay safe and see you next week bye bye ladies <laughs>